So does it ruin social media? And how, how, how does it, I don't know, how does it work? I, I think that it ruins social media by making these games the central point of it when the central point of going to a network is to interact with friends and I think the games should be a part of it but I don't think the games should be the main part of it and I think that uh, a, a network like Zanga's network that they're creating on their own you log in with your Facebook ID but it's only for games it's only <laughs> for games itself and I think that uh, I, I just think it's a kind of a hostile environment <laughs> for, for for social media because it turns it turns social websites like Facebook into a cesspool of useless information. And games, as much as they want to make games social, they're not really that social because you're you're kind of stuck in a mold of how and what and when you commu- you can communicate socially in these games. So you can only communicate with one other person that you're playing against or three other people you're playing against and they put so many restrictions on it that it's not really a social environment. Oh, yeah. It's like an engaging community, but it's definitely not social media. And I think they, they take away that big aspect of of it being social. And um, and then, like you said, it, it's it's the kind of one of the biggest parts of Facebook right now. It I mean, really is. I mean, take away like pictures and, and check-ins and all that stuff. Uh, social gaming is way up there on the user list of, of what people are doing. And I don't know. I just don't, like you said, I don't think that should be the major focus. Um, I'm not familiar with um, Google Plus games. Are you, I know you spend a little bit more time on Google Plus than I do, mm. but is it the same issue going on there that no, Google Plus actually does a they, the Google Plus does a good job at really segregating the games off. You don't have a lot of things just piling up in your feed, so it's it's really not that bad. You have to go look for it in Google Plus, but also look at the user base of Google Plus. It hasn't grown super fast, and maybe these games have something to be said about getting people to log in and be active on the site. Because how many times I know when I played Farmville. Or, I think it was Farmville, yeah. When I played Farmville, there was times where I would just log in just to harvest my raspberries and then leave. You know, like, it, like oh my gosh, this is a 30-minute crop? I have to farm these every 30 minutes? Or whatever it was. And I'd log in, farm it, leave, log in, farm it, leave, log in, farm it, leave. Not even caring about what's going on in the network. And spamming my stream. My, my, whole, my whole feed. But, I, so I that's... I think at one point when Facebook wasn't so popular, social gaming would have been like a a really good poll, like you said, you have to harvest your crop every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you're going to come back, log into Facebook, harvest your crop, maybe yes. look at some other crop and view some ads on the side, and then get out of there and come back in another 30 minutes. Um, so I think social gaming really had its place to be mainstream, um, but I don't think networks really need that poll anymore. See, but I, th- I think there's a correct application of social gaming. It's like, we've been beating up on it, but I think games like, um, like, Draw Something. See, I think mobile social gaming is different. Yeah, I, I think we need to kind of draw a line here and say, like, so I think gaming primarily on Facebook is a pain in the butt, because it just spews information out everywhere. But <laughs> social gaming when the game is the center part and the social part is just like sprinkled on top you know <laughs> like that makes it good something like uh, words with friends and draw something are the two most recent examples of this but um, and probably the most wildly popular also uh, I, I think games like that they do it right you know you have that social aspect and they're they're connecting with social networks because you you log in and you say okay I'll use my Facebook ID because that's where all my friends are you log in, Facebook Connect, and then all of a sudden, everyone you know is able to play with you, but yeah. it's not something that is like posting to your stream every five seconds, and it's really, the centerpiece is the game, not the promotion of the game. And that's, exactly. where, that's why I really like um, games like like that, you know, in that, you know, I'm not hate, hate, hating on, on every game, but like, I don't, I don't like it when it just is a... Uh, an advertisement. <laughs> exactly. And that's how I feel a, a lot of um, Facebook games. And what, what I'm assuming is, is probably if 
Google Plus was a lot more popular, it would be the same way. Mm-hmm. Is that I feel like I'm only playing this game, or the people only care that I'm playing their game, so I can advertise their game. Yeah, yeah, and and I think a game like Cityville, Farmville, Spaceville, Somethingville, yeah. you know, Styrofoamville, Boxville, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, like it's just. Oh, that <laughs> Cat paper Macheville. <laughs> yeah. So, but that whole that whole kind of game really just angers me. Yes. And and you have perfect right to be annoyed. It's like the pregnant lady pictures. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just shoving the social media down my throat again. Ridiculous. Okay, so what kind of um solution can we come up with um for how Social gaming can stop killing our beloved networks. Well, is it even killing it, though? Because aren't the games kind of perpetuating the use of the network itself? Like, do you do we need this kind of fodder on the network in order for the network to survive? Is that the fertilizer to use to grow the user base? I, I don't know. And, then, and, that's, what I, and that's what I was thinking Did about. Facebook so, have games? We told them, like, on Facebook, no more advertising, no one wants to see it in your feed, um, would they still exist? It's a big retention thing that they use it for. It's a, uh, like, the, MySpace didn't have games, and look at where MySpace is. Just say it. <laughs> Orchid didn't have games, look at where, Friendster, no games. <laughs> maybe face, maybe and, Facebook and, and has think, something. Um, but, like you said with the mobile apps, they don't advertise nonstop, but you still find out about all of these games. But you but you're using the the connections you already have in order to connect and play the game. You're not uh, spamming it on somebody's wall. I guess I don't mind the invites as much as I hate the ridiculous amounts of uh, kind of spam and stuff. Yeah. It's Joe just watered his raspberry plant. <laughs> Again. Joe just reaped his raspberry crops. <laughs> Joe just whatever. <laughs> and there'll be like ten in a row. Of everything you've done on Farmville. Yeah, I... I, But I think... But uh, for me, anyways, I feel like the point of social media is um, word of mouth. And that's how marketers should be treating social media, and they shouldn't be forcing people to advertise for them. If you build a great product, and people enjoy it, and people like playing it, and they want their network to play with them, they're going to tell everyone. I mean, I don't know how many times I see on Twitter... Uh, play words with friends with me. My name is whatever. Play ball with me or whatever it's called. Yeah. And they like, like, all the headbangers, if people like, like freaks, whatever name you have for them, we all program, belong here. They're going to tell their friends about it. Um, and people have done trust those automated advertising. Yeah, those can't be that effective. Like, ooh, no, I, so want to, I want to milk the cows. Their friends. And people are dumb enough to know that their friend or dumb enough to think their friends are actually posting all that crap um so i mean i would just trust that your users believe in you and love you and and want to be able to join your network and i don't know i just the way they join your they network force it and down everyone's throat is a turn off to me and probably why i never really got into any of the facebook games or anything like that because i play all kinds of I play Words of Friends, Caitlin Shelby. I play Draw with me or whatever it's called, Draw Something. See, now, now what's the next thing? Because I think, like, Draw Something's already passed as far as a fat. Yeah. Like, okay. that's last week's it. thing. So, uh, I think I guess we'll just, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, because I have one for my pick of the week. I can do it early. Oh, yeah? Or you could do it on time because there's a Red Wings game coming up. Oh, that's true. Um, it's not exactly that social, but it is a... Um, a mobile app game called Tiny Tower. It's a rip off of The Sims, and it's awesome. So, wait. Tiny... Tiny Tower. Tower. You basically build a skyscraper. It's like Sim Tower? What was it? Like Sim Tower? Yeah, it's kind of like Sim Tower. (laughs) Yes! So you build a tower, and you, like, um... You get to do floor by floor, and you get to pick what your floor is. You can have... Like, um, food or entertainment or, uh, shopping, um, and whatever. And, um, it just, it's kind of, you make money to build more floors. 
But it's on Android and um, Tiny. Yeah. That's what I was checking right now. I'm like, is it on Android? Tiny Tiny Tower. Okay. All right. I don't see it, though. It came out in late 2011. It already has 1 million downloads on the Android market. Not sure um, about the Apple iTunes market, but... That's pretty cool. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I I like The Sims, and I miss playing The Sims. And uh, so it was just a little reminiscent of uh, my past, so I liked it. I think I talk about The Sims at least once a week. Just Wait, do with, you still play? No, no. I just somebody brings it up in conversation at least once a week. If I not, I still love The Sims. It, uh, it was pretty. Uh, I've considered playing again. Um, however, I'm forced to have a life at at this point in my life, and um, I. I, I know I would just get sucked in. Oh, you're preaching to the choir. Yeah, I understand. If I was, if I, I wasn't doing. I get sucked in by this internet thing enough, and then to add. Playing Sims on it. And totally understandable. Although it would look nice on um, my 27-inch Oh, internet. yeah, yeah, that's right. You and your 20-whatever-inch screen. And your your it's ivory tower of technology. It is. It's beautiful. The but ivory tower. desk that I'm going to put together once the show is over. <laughs> the ivory tower of technology right outside. Right in so Metro I think Detroit. We're stepping around the subject here and, and and wasting off time, but what is your pick of the week, Joe? A, a pick of the week? I don't have picks of the week. You know what I'm going to start doing though? <laughs> Not your pick of the week. No, nah, I'm going to do my anti pick of the week. No, actually, I got you my. Could. What's your anti pick of the week? <laughs> no, I got I got my my Ting phone and oh. I started oh. the use of it. Um, the video is going to come. I already recorded it. I'm just piecing it together right now. I'd expect it this week. So take a look at that. But you, what you might want to subscribe to is my YouTube channel. Or at least check me out on Twitter. Because uh, I think I'm going to start doing a live video diary of home movies of uh, my awesome life here in, uh, in and around the Detroit area. Because, I mean, what more could you possibly want? Exactly. That was my um, New Year's resolution, that I was either going to, A, try to do a short video every day, like one second. One even, second? Not one second, I'm at one minute. Oh, okay, a one second it's video. It's like, I spend most of my day at work, and it just shows me sitting at work, or it shows me sleeping, or whatever my really exciting life is. Um, and then I was like, well, I was a little ambitious, so maybe I'll do one a week. Um, well, it is April 17th, and I have done none. <laughs> so... Um, I feel like I'm really on par with my New Year's resolution. You're doing great. You're doing great. I mean, technically, I do one video a week, right? You do at least I one like a week. I social media, so I mean, this this could be my... Damn, this counts. This counts. You're getting out there. I am. I am. I'm actually going to be using the Quick app off of the Android phone, and I know it comes pre-installed on a lot of different phones, but... Um, What's really nice about it is you can sync it up with the, your Facebook, your Twitter, your YouTube account, and just have it go and blast uh, everything at once, which I uh, I gotta watch out for because I I know I was doing some no nos in the past, social media no nos. Maybe that's oh, a, with your double posting, my triple posting, the infinite loop between oh, Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, the infinite loop where you would <laughs> post to Tumblr, which posted to Twitter, which also posted to Facebook, but your Twitter posted to Facebook, and then it went back around again. Yeah, yeah, that's this guy right here, Speedia Forty. That's that's me. I did that. Yeah. yeah. You know who didn't learn so much since well, I've studied only that because of your your sage-like advice. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Um, 